once I hit the right button. This is going to be Yakuza 5. Uh, part 6 of the remaster. So let's get this diggity done as well. Put like a quick hour into it. Let me get a second. Before I go to bed, y'all gotta remind me to fill the dishwasher. I forgot how good the Yakuza music is. I'm very excited that I've just refused to let this series go because it is so freaking good. All right, once we left off. All right. Once we left off, let's stand and uh, light a cigarette. And uh, Kiryu will tell us what's going on. Oh, yeah. We got to go uh, radio track down Yahata after beating his butt. Hey, oh, really? I just loaded into the game. You ready to get a butt whooping? Let's go. Hey, that dude's wearing a red tracksuit. Where's he at? Wow, you're being really rude right now. You're being a big old b-hole. Goodbye. Economy size extremes. Am I beating someone with a uh, jar of hot sauce? No, oh, get the headbutt. God. When I grow up, I hope I'm like Kiryu. Jeez. Oh god, can we infinite loop this? Nah, we can do this though. Jesus. Why are there so many of them? Oh no. Once you take it out, you cannot put it away again. Uh -oh. You learn your lesson, punk. Looking for dudes with red tracksuits. In the meantime, I'll just beat up the entire city. Typical Yakuza fashion, to be frank. Hey, did our um, did our game and title update? Should have. Let's go. 
I guess I can send some money home. Oh, cool. thanks, Smash. Paying the kids, dog. Be eating good tonight. Just got about nine hundred dollars. Friendo, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, readers. How are we tonight? Hey, yo, someone else playing through this absolute masterpiece of a video game? <laughs> welcome, welcome. How are you enjoying the Yakuza series? See it. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Rangers. Hope you're having a terrific time. I'm Kios. I do a lot of JRPGs. Uh, I do a lot of speedruns. If you're into that kind of stuff, you may have seen me. Seen me on GDQ or Limit Break. It's pretty fun. How far, in, uh, roughly how far in are you? Oh, you're at Endgame? Cool, cool. We're chapter, I think, four? Maybe chapter five? You're talking to the great hors d'oeuvre Morosawa. You named yourself after an appetizer? <sighs> yeah, I've, have you, I assume you've been playing through the entire franchise? Yeah, 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 we've been doing the same thing. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get to like a dragon by the uh, beginning of next year. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. Like, starting with with Kiwami and Kiwami Two, like, don't get me wrong, the combat isn't as functional. But I mean, these games are are much older. They're not remastered for PC. Um, but the story is still just as good. Like the story in four blew my mind how it how it all came together. Like I wasn't expecting it to turn out that way. And five so far has been really good. Yeah, it's it's it it feels like it's long, but that's kind of okay. I may or may not also know a few speedrun tricks, so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, hey, not everybody is is around to enjoy everything. It's definitely tough. Like for me, three didn't like the story at three was was pretty good, but it took way too long to get there, in my opinion. I love Froob though. Froob's good peeps. 
But like three is three is good, but it just takes forever to get there. And everything felt very vague in that one. Yeah, I mean, hey, different strokes for different folks. Weapons, just weapons, lots of them. Stock up when you can. I don't know too much about the five speed run because I haven't super looked into it. Um, just I didn't want to get spoiled on the story. Um, but I know Kiwami and Kiwami 2 is basically just daggers and bikes. Daggers and bikes. Unless it's changed. I haven't seen one in a hot minute, but I'm pretty sure most of the most of the runs are daggers, knuckles. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it was unplayable or, like, horrible, I would just stop playing it. I have a backlog that's literally, like, absurdly long. So if I if I don't like what I'm playing, I'm going to move on from it or just speed run more. So Rikia was really... I liked him as a character. Like I said, I, I didn't mind it. I thought the story was awesome. It was really cool. Lots of cool plot twists. It just took forever to develop. And it just... Like, don't get me wrong, like... The transition was just a little rough. And I think that may be, the, may be the biggest issue that I had, was I went from Kiwami 2, which is super smooth, super comfy, it just flows to 3, which is, you know, a, basically a PS3 game that just got ported to PC. It's very clunky, single-button style combat. Very straightforward. You know, because it's a product of its time. Uh, my current... I need to get to Live Alive soon. Okay, I will... I don't want to leave that guy hanging. But that's something for another time. I... I honestly think if this series continues to be super, super popular and and grows in its fan base, I, I think there's a possibility for almost anything. The other interesting thing, I'm not sure how, if you're like up in the news, um, but the production studio for this RGG, um, is going to be swapping over to uh, the Unreal Engine and moving away from the, you know, it definitely showing its age Dragon Engine, which in my opinion will probably make it easier to kind of port and upgrade things a little bit. So, you know, never wrong to get your hopes up or try and start. Yeah, what's that? Also, welcome to the stream. Dude, I love the recent round of, of Kazuma memes. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I am in B's Discord. I've known B for... Oof. Since I started on Twitch, really. So, almost six years now. I believe so. 
for me, I have no issue with Unreal Engine. Yeah! <laughs> I love B. B and SNES are super wonderful. Normally, I chat with SNES, like, pretty much every day. You just pop in and say hello to each other. I just have so many Discord servers and so many things going on. I'm generally not super talkative in many Discords. <laughs> the guns and the guns and for uh oof I uh still kind of I don't know it's still a sore subject <laughs> yeah I uh B's B's really neat I'm glad you decided to swing by but uh yeah B and I definitely have a have a similar taste in RPGs um, she's uh, she's one of the reasons I actually started running Parasite Eve as well. Oh, makes sense. I I found that to be very absurd, but also pretty freaking cool. I have not, but I want to let you know that I'm replaying Kodelka on my Amber Nick. So, like, when I lay down and go to bed, like, before I, like, before I go to bed, I, uh, just, I, I throw it on for, like, 20, 30 minutes and play through it. Shadow Hearts is fabulous. The board? I did her podcast probably recently. <laughs> Uh, I am one of her spicy fan fiction uh, readers. I um, I recorded a line when I had really bad laryngitis, so it sounds really deep. Oh, okay. This, so we've both speed ran it. Yeah, I uh, I never really got as good as I wanted to with that, but I definitely learned under uh, Primus and Palmer. Palmer, who's also pretty close with B and SNES, is a, is a really good bud of mine as well. Yo, take care, Spingy. Thanks so much for the raid. I hope you have a terrific time. Please continue to enjoy your playthrough through this series and this franchise. It's absolutely wonderful. And I really hope you enjoy it. Noodle, what is you doing? The ferret is having a hissy fit right now. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, not familiar. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Hearts is dope. Yeah. Mash, I gotta be real though, I'm really mad with my fucking playthrough. I've had to use Edward with bare hands the entire playthrough, and I'm like halfway through disc two. Every single weapon that has dropped has been mystic or vital, and it sucks. No shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, because like I ran it for a bit, fell off of it, and then Palmer came back to it and just absolutely massacred it and then walked away, and then... um. I think Plywood took it back, and then Crazy Awesome started running it and just absolutely annihilated it. Yep. Oh, I remember the days. Mini Uzi or bust, basically. That's how I feel about it, man. You know.
I uh, have literally had no choice. The good news is, uh, James has incredibly high magic. Yeah, I definitely do not do not miss the days of 50-50 toss-ups because my luck is very bad. <laughs> it's one of those things like I circulate through some very weird areas. Um, but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes people get like really intimidated by me, which is, I don't, I, I don't know what causes it. I mean, I am very matter of fact with things and a bit of a gigantic fucking meme, but I'm also just like the softest person on the face of the planet. Yeah, I don't miss that. I Look, I run 15, 12 near Automata. TZA, I've, I've definitely had enough of resetting runs to luck. Yeah, I gotta get my hands on a copy of Shadow Hearts. I, I, one point in time, I did own a copy of Kodelka before it was eight bajillion dollars. I'm not with the Tojo clan, I'm just a civilian. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, it's one of those things, like, I'll start learning a game, and unless I'm, like, really stumped, I just tend to try and figure it out myself. So, like, I'll be in the discords for the speedruns. Um, but it's not often that I'm, like, super chatty in them, unless someone needs something from me. It's pretty weird. Yeah, I, I think that's a cool thing, to be honest, MASH, and, like, I'm really excited for it. My big annoyance is I really freaking hate that everyone just be out here trying to charge a bajillion dollars for video games. Ain't no need, dude. Our friend Other Keo wanted a copy of Dragon Guard like less than a year ago when they were like retailing, like not retailing, but like selling for. Yes. Um, they were selling for like 80 to 100 bucks on the secondary market, which is absolutely absurd, by the way. Um, and I, my friend was selling a copy, and I was like, dude, I was just, just 60 bucks, call it even. I literally look exactly like my model. I'm only menacing when you, when I have to be. Otherwise, I just want to play video games and hang. I'm very relaxed. Yeah, oh, being a straight shooter is something I enjoy. Like, literally, like, so B and I met up in person because we lived in the same area. And we, like, hung out, and I was like, the, the, the one of the first things I told her was like, I think that's why I appreciate you, like, you're just on here slinging the truth and like to be honest it'd be so easy to just be a complete sellout and like i really respect the fact that you're just here to do your thing like you're not here to just get attention or rely on your looks or your voice or anything like that you're just here to do your fucking thing and a lot of times that takes fucking balls or ovaries or whatever have you. Hmm. Digimon World 3. Dork. Is Dragon Guard 3 still only 20 bucks? It it spiked in price for a for a hot minute. Hey, what's up Kairos? Good to see you, homie. Yo, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't told your friends, Kairos, 
Skytech has a, ma I mean, ridiculously massive sale on um, their pre-built with 3080s. They're like way, <laughs> way on sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 8-bit though. Hey, if you figure out how to get that to work properly, let me know. Because, like, I can only get mine to work when it's plugged in and when I'm controlling RetroArch. Once I'm in a game, it just stops. So, uh, I 3D... Uh, here, I'll show you. I 3D printed... Uh, wow, it's only 20, 30 bucks. Uh, last thing I printed... Don't mind that the filtering's off. I'm too lazy to turn it off right now. Uh, I printed these bad boys today. Not this. Nah, I printed the other version. I printed myself a pair of these bad boys in a very retro Nintendo 64 trans translucent purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I do a lot of cool stuff. I forget who was asking. I don't know if Dizzy's still awake, but yeah, there's a whole list of things. This was my latest product. I need to upload photos. I printed a PS TV stand today too, so I could reorganize how everything works. It is not a Joy-Con holster. It's for the Ambernick. But I just recently... I got a resin printer a couple of months ago, and I've really started to kind of flow into it quite a bit. Damn, Mash, when are you going to buy me buy a Beast Lord so I can just make another one? But yeah, a whole bunch of shenanigans. And then Dizzy was asking about keyboards a while back, but... I just sent this one to Larpus, and I gotta tell you, that was a that that thing's a treat to build. Um, don't mind the keycaps; these are just straight ass giveaways. Um, the switches that went into this one are wonderful. The purple pandas, I freaking love them. Ooh. I wish you're in the US. I'd tell you to just go through Skytech so I could get you a hookup. Have, have someone in have someone in the US buy the PC and then just drive it across the border. <laughs> hey, no worries. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Welcome to the Night Owl crew. I'm only I'm only up this late on weekends. <laughs> How far up into Canada are you? Like, just, just pay Rod to, to fucking buy you a computer and drive it up. Actually, I have no idea. How difficult is it to buy PCs in Canada? Is, like, the pricing kind of shitty because the the weak currency? check. I think Toronto's pretty far from me. I gotta real zoom out. Oh, Toronto, yeah. Nah, I mean, I, I could realistically drive there. That's only an eight-hour drive. Well, that's an eight-hour drive at speed limits. It only cost me sixteen fifty to get there? No shit. It costs less than tolls for me to drive all the way to Toronto than it does to Pittsburgh. Um, if it, dude, honestly, if it makes sense to like buy American, just ship it to fucking me and then I'll ship it to you. I don't give a fuck. 
Thankfully, I have no issues shipping stuff across borders. The only places I can't ship stuff is to... The dude at the post office gave me a hassle when I was shipping a keyboard to Columbia, but I told him it's, dude, whatever. I lit literally mailed a keyboard to fucking Medellin. Uh, and as a US citizen, I don't think I can mail stuff to Iran. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from Philly. Um, realistically, I think you can, Kairos, but, like, I'm not gonna lie, dude, it's not that difficult. So, I will let you know I am using an older version of OBS, just because, um, I have a lot of shit going on in the back end. Congratulations, if you've never seen what a fully built-out OBS looks like, uh, I have this many scenes. Um, but, like, your settings aren't too awful. Uh, but yeah, literally you can auto connect to Twitch, which is the same thing that Streamlabs has, um, all of your output settings running on this. Yeah. What, uh, what am, even am I streaming at anymore? Outscaled to 720p 60. No, honestly, there's no sense. I mean, I literally don't mind shipping it. I'll put it, I'll put it this way, Mash. Um, I shipped my old PC across the country, like priority, like pretty much as fast as it can get there, literally to California, and I think it was 80 bucks. I just, the, the thing that I don't know is if you would have to pay customs on it, which I assume you probably would, but I'm sure there are ways around it. Figure it out and let me know. To be honest, I think from shipping from here to Toronto for that would be maybe a hundred bucks. You live in New York? Oh, where, 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 where? Where at? You like upstate, Long Island? city middle of butt fuck nowhere yeah that's the only thing i don't know I, and i'm not gonna tell you if i know because that's illegal uh and rule number one of the internet don't ever admit to anything illegal on the internet <laughs> the name's suzuki uh, uh, no. ah i don't know Do you, do you want me to just disassemble it and send it in pieces instead? <laughs> Bumfuck nowhere. I, uh, I was dating a chick in college. I, I was going to school in Shippensburg, which is like 15 minutes north of like the, the southern border of Maryland. And uh, we drove from basically south central PA all the way up to fucking Alfred to visit her friend. We took we took eleven fifteen straight up for about six and a half hours, and uh, I <laughs> gotta tell you, the entire road up was truck stop, diner, motel, titty bar, titty bar, motel, gas station, truck stop, titty bar. Motel, titty bar, titty bar motel, gas station, fast food place. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful though. Like Alfred was absolutely beautiful. It was super cool. I had a good time up there. The girl I was dating at the time was fucking Crankosaurus Rex, but like I thought it was really cool. There's a neat cafe. Had a really, 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 really good pour over there. This is like 12 years ago, I think. At least, maybe even 15. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, terrifying. Genesee? Oh, God. Jenny Cream Ale. Blech. 
I mean, what if you need me to help you out, Mash? Just fucking let me know. I don't give a shit. I noticed that even like almost 15 years ago, unfortunately. Kind of the way of the world right now. As a gender ambiguous, very openly queer looking motherfucker that literally looks like their avatar, I'm very confident in myself. And that I don't mind. And I can defend myself quite well. Um, but that doesn't mean I want to. All the time. Constantly. Everywhere. I don't want to work anymore. Why can't I meet a business tycoon or an oil magnate? Listen, girl. Fucking mood. Yeah, I understand that. A lot of people get really worked up when you want to fuck their kitchen tools. Nah, just kidding. Congratulations, though. I'm pretty much there, too, to be honest. The more I think about it, like, gender doesn't really bother me. Like, I'm getting married in two weeks, but, like, if my partner decided to change their gender or decided they didn't want to have one, I'd still love them. We've been through quite a lot together, and, you know, nobody's perfect, but we make it work as best as we can. Oh, fuck, here we go again. I just want to talk. Y'all just want an ass whooping. Bunch of masochist looking some bitches out here. You seem like a nice person, but if you start fucking my cast iron pan, I'm going to be pissed. Reminder, if you haven't voted for the cooking stream, please do so. Reminder that you do two of them a month, so that means you get to vote twice. Increase the bet. Raise ten cigarettes. Oof. Or just get back punched in the di oh where is Yahada please I'm not Yakuza <sighs> man just gotta keep looking I wish I knew where it was so I could stop running in circles, but, you know. Mm-hmm. There are some pretty, like... Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, the bad version of ASMR uh, that this game gives me sometimes. You get the old tinglys and your teeth itch a little bit. Ugh. Fuck off, buddy. I still think the best news story I've heard is um, the guy that plays Kuze um, came out as like a, a, a big trans ally um, <laughs> because literally um, he got 
the best head of his life from a trans woman. Uh, Gyaru you gal. And ever since then, he's been like super, super supportive. And I gotta tell you, sometimes just, just need some good head game. Change a fucking worldview. It's so good, dude. It's so good. Like, there, there's something so charming about this series. Um, and, like, it, it's from the ground up. Like, the, the, the passion that the developers have to tell incredibly moving stories and pitch it against absolutely absurd fight scenes. Y you go from fighting to, to protect basically your adopted daughter, you know, from getting kidnapped, to five minutes later managing a, a hostess club, and then five minutes later after that, you're fighting a bunch of men with a diaper fetish. And it's just so seamless that it, you don't even begin to question why it works. Yep. And, like, the, the voice actors have gone from, you know, one of them was not a good person to kind of understanding that there's no reason to, to worry. And, like, most of the voice actors get dressed up as their characters. They really get into the role. They hang out. They interact with each other. And, like, I'm glad that that's becoming more commonplace. And I think, for me, one of the best examples of it was, like, the, the Final Fantasy XV voice actors, like, literally hung out and were, like, really good friends and spent a lot of time together. And, like, the, the weird thing about Kuze is, like, apparently he's getting more of a redemption arc, which is also really neat. Which, hey, matches his personal life. Good for him. You're never too old to learn or to grow. to find the last group here. Maybe we can get some hints. All right, so I still got to track down more dudes in track suits. Really? Secondary charge up time. Man.
Come on, dudes in jackets. Ow. Potted plant time. the sound design you can hear like the the sprocket free spinning I could probably just Google this. All right, where's the last bunch of dudes? Where to find red men in tracksuits? Because I gotta go to bed. So. Southeast corner of the map. Yo, thank you. I really want to update my nap emote. Okay, southeast. Hopefully you can only find them in order. Oof. Oh yeah, I gotta pull content that up and ready for tomorrow. 
I am a tired boy. A yon, a yon, a yon. Condo? Can't even afford to think about one. Hey, yo. Yes. <laughs> Sound is so satisfying. At least we're getting a lot of cool items. It's always good. Bro, fuck off. That's my bike. Leave it alone. I, uh, I, I have a deep-seated love of using bikes as weapons in this game. Bike champ. Form up an orderly line in order to get your ass whipped efficiently, please. Good lord. I mean, I'll take this dude's money at least. He's rich. Oh, damn it. He's just regular Yakuza. Son of a bitch. It's gonna get it. Bam, bam, bam. Anybody watch the uh, Netflix version of Dahmer, Kevin Peters? Partner and I uh, wrapped that up recently. Really, really good acting by Evan Peters. Dude's really grown into a quality actor, I gotta say. Just takes a left jab right to the jaw. It's really good. Highly recommend. Hey, picked up some garbage. It's me. Oh, God. 
Todd Wada. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this last bit of this quest done, and then I gotta go to bed. I'm beat. Damn, she quick. All girl street racing team? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I have grocery shopping and I need rest. I'm a very tired boy. I just wanna get I just wanna finish this quest line. Or at least get it to a logical closing point. I think that's him. Yes, we made it. No, you can you cannot pay me enough. No. Well, yeah, I mean, but I'm not taking you all to the grocery store with me. Because you'll all ask for, like, snacks and cookies and shit. I'm, I'm broke. I can't afford that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're rocking a mullet. You better be able to back those words up. It's because you're a dork. I think you hit me like once, my guy. You better step that game up. Oh boy, here we go. Attack, jump, drop kick. <laughs> someone's ass down the street. so hard to throw stuff. Oh, God. I I have some sirloin in the freezer. I buy it when I can find it on sale. The family packs, and I cut them in half, sous vide them for like five, six hours, finish in a cast iron pan with some peppers and onions, slice thinly for fajitas. Suzukake Lane. Got it. Got you, fam. There it is. All right. Where are we? Okay, I'm going to go up this way. I have to turn in my garbage at the taxi company when I go back there. But hey, it's almost full in the morning. We're going to call it here. It'll be a long stream tomorrow, too, but I definitely have to get up. And, uh, because Shelby has a uh, engagement. So she's got to be at, um, she's got to be at her friend's by one. 
So we gotta get grocery shopping done. Cool. So I'm... Is it actually your birthday? Yeah, nice meeting you as well. Oh, yo, thanks for the resub right before the end of stream. Concern. Oh. Hey guys. Oh, my birthday's here. Oh, well, happy birthday, friend. You want some complimentary feet pics? <laughs> But no, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully this is the beginning of you getting healthy again. Um, but either way, I'm going to call it a night. If you haven't checked out the Discord, feel free to join us there. I ping once a week. Uh, if you want more pings for when we play like multiplayer games or watch races or sports or whatever have you, it's in the rules section. So there you go. <laughs> Not in defeats. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube, definitely do. I try and put up as much content as I can, the moto vlogs, the cooking streams, the keyboard builds, all the fun stuff. Um, so definitely check that out. Like I mentioned, SkyTech is having a huge sale on their 3080 series computers right now. Like if you're looking for a pre-built or custom built, definitely take a look if you're in the US. Um, I love them to death. They've hooked up a lot of community members here. They've hooked me up with some incredible stuff. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm going to bed. So I'm going to snuggle my, my to be wife. <laughs> it's not my birthday, but if you would like to assist the stream with cool cosplay stuff, uh, help me with some of my creations, uh, definitely take a look at the throne wish list, all sorts of cool stuff there. Also, if you need a throne code, uh, cause you want your own, just hit me up. I got like fucking 20 or 30 of them. Um, and if you want to commission me for a custom keyboard or 3d print commission, shoot me a fucking email. There's a form right there or slide into my discord DMS, but for me, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for hanging. Thank you for checking out the sponsored content. We have like one more bit of it tomorrow, which is paid. So I appreciate it. If you hang. Uh, let's go find someone to raid. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We got a cooking stream, another crack at Final Fantasy X, some sponsored stuff. We'll see what we can compile. But hopefully, y'all enjoy it. Super appreciate y'all being here. <laughs>